Steve, very satisfying first win of 2015 there. Yes, I mean, um, it, was, it was pleasing that we built on a hard-earned point last week at Southport. But I just thought today, you know, what's happened this week with bringing new lads in is to give everybody a lift around the place. And the, the, uh, you know, the effort that we've seen through the, the lads on the park today and the commitment is back to where we expect them to be. Um, and against a side who are pushing for the, for the title, it's nice. Obviously, I know it's my old club, but to get four points off them this season is pleasing. But, um, and that's where we want to strive to be in time. Not just the result, but the performance as well makes you think that Braintree was, you know, almost a, a million miles away. Well, you, know, you get that in football, and if you're not at it, and you're not you're at it with 11 players, you're going to get games like Braintree and the Ultra Nuts. But we've got no divine right to, you know, if we think we can just turn up and we, we're going to win games, that's when you get a, a reality check. And um, I just, I just felt maybe that those games over Christmas was. The disappointment for obviously going, obviously going out of the cup and one or two forms dipped and confidence as well didn't help. And, and with bringing one or two new players in, that's give everybody a lift around the place. And I think you could see the energy today and from the team and the commitment there um, got us the win. Winner from Craig Marn. It was a goal, you know, befitting of winning any game of football. Fabulous. Yeah, I mean, I thought he was tremendous, and I thought particularly first half he was a constant menace, and uh, and he got in a couple of times in the second half. Perhaps maybe should have done a little bit better right at the end, but. The goal was fantastic, absolutely top draw. And Craig Mann back with his, his partner in crime, Matty Hughes, on, on either side. Is there, a, is there a balance there now in terms of you know attacking and going forward? Well, I think what it has done, it, it's just give us more pace up front. I mean, we've got young Kane Richards who we brought in who can play in that position as well. We brought George in as well. Um, obviously, Ollie's come in who made a, a difference up front for us today with his energy and winning the ball in the air. So, um, and that's what, yeah, that's what we try and do. We, we bring players in to try and improve the side. So, um, and it will always keep looking for to improve, but the boys that we've brought in, it's, it, it's, you know, these are going to be the lads we'll work with now until the end of the season. And uh, if any if any players do become available, that we think they're, they're all better in the squad, then we'll try and get them. But um, no, I'm pleased with uh, how the new boys settled in and, and how the lads who've been here all season with us rose to the challenge today. It was a hang-on job at the end, which was made probably a little bit easier by two phenomenal saves from from John Worsnop. Yeah, I mean, John's been tremendous, hasn't he? And he's you know, he pops up just at the right time to, to, to bring those sort of saves that keeps us, uh, you know, to, to win us the game, really. You know, the, the strikers will always get the uh, the praise for, for scoring goals, but you know, he's been terrific, John. Has. He's a great pro, playing through the injury that he had at Barnsley. Um, but today, you know, those two saves right at the end was, was terrific. I thought in the first half, to be honest, I thought we should have done a little bit better with chances that we had. And we've had a, put a lot of shots in the first half. Second half, we were under pressure. And... Um, a little bit more composure on the ball uh, might have just alleviated that pressure a little bit. But hey, Kidderminster were up there for a reason. It was one blemish on the performance today. It was losing your captain in the opening few minutes. Two points on that is, is what is the situation with Matty Brown? And also, how impressed were you with Ben Hennigan in, as you've, you've said, his natural position at centre-half? Well, he's come here as a centre-half. I mean, he did a terrific job at right-back while we were looking to sort of fill that role. But um, Matty's done his hamstring in. Uh, and it's, it's always difficult sometimes for, for subs to go on, but especially in that area where it's the heart of the defence. But I thought him and Michael Kay were tremendous. Is it looking as though he's going to be out for, for a sustained period of time? Well, if it's hamstring, we're looking probably three weeks, aren't you? Three, four weeks. But um, yeah, we'll have to have a look. Yeah, it was a blow for us to lose him, but that's what you want from your, your sub you know, to go on and perform like uh, Ben did. There's been a fair few new faces here. Is there any potential there might be any more or any more, you know, any players moving on? Um, I wouldn't have thought so. We're probably maybe looking to um, get one or two out on loan, but all in all, I, I would think that we're happy now with what we've got. We've obviously let one or two go anyway, so um, but there might be movement for one or two going out to get some games. When he's, when he's coming back from an injury and he's ready to play, so I might look at maybe getting him some games. We'll, we'll have a look at him again. Winning any game of football is nice. Is it even sweeter when it's against your old employers? Uh, no, not really, because I had some great times there. and. Um, got one over my old club it's just nice to get three points and um, it's been it's not been the greatest of, of uh, Christmases with the results that we had and up to sort of losing against um, the teams that we have here over the last uh, last month last year if you like um, it was good to get back to winning ways today Steve congratulations on three points and we'll see you on Tuesday great cheers thanks Steve cheers for that <laughs>